Hey guys, Harry here and welcome to another sum Summer Transfer Targets video. Today we're looking at another Premier League team. It happens to be Hull City, managed of course by Steve Bruce. Uh, they've already done well in the Summer Transfer window so far. They've signed seven players including Snodgrass, Ince and Liv Livermore. Uh, a few other good signings as well. Last season they finished 16th, had a very good start for the ability of their squad but seemed to and not do as well in the second half of the season. Let's take a look at some of the transfers they could make in the summer and how likely they are to happen. So starting top left a Chelsea player Victor Moses, Nigerian international. Uh, he is a winger but can play in the CAM position as well behind the striker. Obviously doesn't play too much for Chelsea because he's competed with the likes of Oscar and Hazard and Schurler, you know, he's not better than them at the end of the day, so he might want to move to a different club to get game time. Currently 23 years old, so if they could get him permanently, he would be a good transfer. Probability of moving 30%, player rating 6.5 out of 10. Good dribbler of the ball, but not necessarily strong or good at aerial duels, etc. But as I said, his main strength is dribbling. Now moving on to a Manchester City player. Scott Sinclair, um, 25 years old. Again, he's not going to get. He's not been getting game time at Manchester City. He's competing with so many world-class players. It doesn't surprise me though. Um, looked a really good talent a few years ago, but now we don't really know because hasn't played at all. Probability of moving to Hull 40%. I can see him moving after what he said, uh, but not necessarily to Hull. We'll see. He doesn't really fit into their formation. Play rate 6.5 out of 10. Main strength is dribbling, just like Moses. Then moving on to two strikers. One of them is Peter Crouch, plays for Stoke City. You'll know him. He's an England international. Um, fairly good striker. Obviously, he's not good running with the ball or dribbling with the ball, but is actually fairly clinical and good at heading at corners and defending crosses as well. 33 years old, so obviously getting on a bit now, but would still be a good transfer for Hull to add to that extra experience. Probability of moving 30%. I can't see him moving Stoke this window, to be honest. Um, play rate 6.5. As I said, doesn't dribble off the ball well, but is fairly clinical. Main strength is aerial duels, obviously, with that height. And then moving on to a player who's really not very good. Nicholas Bentner, currently a free agent after his contract to Arsenal ran up. 26 years old. You know, he's, he's been poor, let's be honest, the last few seasons. Um... He's just, people don't like him, he doesn't do very well, not a great finisher, but his main strength is finishing, there's nothing that really makes him stand out, but he would be, you know, in, you never know, he might have a good career at Hull if he was to join. Uh, play rate 6.5 out of 10, probability of moving to Hull 20%. As I said, the manager is Steve Bruce. Let's have a look at the strongest Hull City lineup for the 2014 slash 15 season. In goal, obviously McGregor, he did fairly very well last season actually, apart from one mistake I remember in a game that seemed to cost his team, uh, I believe that was in a cup, but that cost his team a lot I think. Then the back three of Chester, Davies and it's likely to be Rosinha or Bruce, I've gone for Bruce, Steve Bruce's son. Uh, 25, 29 and 29 years old respectively. Then the wing backs, you've got Figaro and El Mohamedy. Figaro, you know, he has had the best last few seasons, but he, I think he's a very good player. He's also got the long shot on him. Uh, obviously, they've just bought a, a left back as well uh, to cover for him, so he might play. I believe he was transferred from Dundee United. Then the midfield three of Snodgrass, Huddleston and Livermore. Livermore. Uh, Livermore obviously transferred permanently from Tottenham, I believe, for about £10 million. Huddleston, very experienced player, very good pass through the ball. Doesn't get too many goals, as you could tell by his haircut uh, charity event, but still a very good player. And Snodgrass, good at uh, set pieces and an all-round fairly good dribbler of the ball. And then the two strikers they bought last season, Jelovic and Long. Long, very, very good. I'm a big fan of him. Very fast, could dribble pass players and finish. And Jelovic did have the best of time at Everton, uh, but can finish also and is uh, clinical with headers. Uh, so the formations of 3-5-2 looks a fairly strong team. Obviously, Ince couldn't get in there. Uh, I think he'll be more of a substitute player, won't be starting every single game. Tell me what you think of the squad, guys, and goodbye. 